thousands of Las Vegas strip workers threatening to walk off the job if things don't change. Thank you for joining us at four. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. Right now, many of them are gathering to vote on a potential strike if casino properties aren't meeting their needs. A News Now reporter Victoria Saha live outside Thomas and Mac as voting continues. Brian and Kirsten, the doors to Thomas and Mac behind me just opened. There was a crowd that was gathered here earlier. They just went in, and you can see several people. People are also trickling in, getting ready for the evening session of voting. Culinary and bartending union workers demanding change, making sure they are loud and clear. They're understaffing us and overworking us while they're making record profits. Profits workers like Gabriel Funtes want a share of. That we're coming together to show these companies that we cannot and should not be left behind because we're the ones that are making your money. The unions represent more than 53,000 workers. Many, like Victor Chavez, are working despite his original contract ending. We extend another time. Nothing happened. We extend another time. And then at the end, we said, you know what? We're not going to spend the whole year extending our contract. So this is it. We give you a notice. No more extension. Better wages, benefits, and job security are the top priorities. It's a domino effect. If it affect me, it will affect my family. On Tuesday, voting sessions were divided in two. Workers are able to vote if they want to strike or not. And if there is a strike, Ted Papa George, the secretary treasurer for the culinary union, gets to decide when. So we think the absolute uh, overwhelming mandate is going to be to authorize a strike. He says he's given the casino properties enough time to make negotiations. Companies have the opportunity to step up to the plate and do the right thing, but we haven't seen that yet for five months. So if there is a strike, I'm told MGM, Caesars and Wynn will be the first properties to be affected. And quite literally, you will have thousands of workers that just won't show up to work. And Brian and Kirsten, this is going to put a lot of these properties in a tough spot, especially with the major events coming to our city. Reporting from Thomas and Mac tonight, Victoria Saha, 8 News Now. Thank you, Victoria. Voting for the workers continues until 8 p.m. this evening. Then the ballots will be counted. We are expected to know by about 10 o'clock tonight if they will vote in favor of a strike.